Hello everyone, I am Melinda Nail Fanatic, and this is your January 2017 Love, Peace, and Happiness General Tarot Reading. If you would like me to consult on your behalf, please contact me and I will send you all the information or stay tuned at the end of the video for a little bit more about that. Now, January 2017, Love Source God, what are the divine messages? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to start that over. Love Source God, thank you, thank you for the divine messages for my Aries viewers, whether Aries is their sun, moon, rising, or northern node. For January 2017, what are the divine messages for Aries, January 2017? For Aries, sun, moon, rising, and northern node. For January 2017, the divine messages, the channel messages for Aries, what they will live, see, and experience, what they need to know, what benefits them. Knight of Cups offers the love coming in, being given from some of you, or coming in from some of you, bowing gracefully, bowing gracefully, that means something for somebody, mm. with the king of pentacles here, mm. king of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles, my goodness, so we have love in, in a inner exchange between the king and queen of pinnacles you're both focused on uh growing this is uh and and with aries here uh i feel like the pinnacles is reflective of the stability and the physical physicality of this love offer there is a physical love offer on the table and this for some of you is somebody around you this king of pinnacles is uh, very much to himself whoever this person portrays to be in your life. This person is very much to themselves. They are, mm, for somebody, this is a, a Virgo in your life who is playing very strongly into your emotional life this January 2017. And um, for others, it is not the sign that matters, but the action of these, these cards. So if that is you, where the sign doesn't resonate, the person that you're dealing with is a very spiritual person. This person will get quiet for long periods of time and reflect inside. They, they don't have much to speak about. And then, then there's other times where all they do is talk. They just won't shut up. They got so much to talk about, but that's because they spent their time quiet in themselves, focused on their inner self. And um, they don't share everything. Uh, they very much keep certain information to themselves. And, oh, this is one reason why they prosper so much in the physical sense is because um, they keep some of their plans to themselves until they're ready to go forward. And some of you are going to be experiencing a, a love offer from a Virgo person who's going to say, you know what, you're my perfect, you're my perfect match. And I really really want to extend this what we're doing so how about let's let's share a home let's share a wedding let's share our lives let's share some more time together i really value the time that i have with you i'm a very busy person however my time that i spend with you is very valuable to me and so that's a beautiful thing uh, this person has let go of some dead weight whether that was persons, ideas, beliefs, situations, or circumstances, this person is coming from a place where they have let go of some dead weight. Or if this is you who's making these offers, then you are the one who has let go of some dead weight. I see that some people have left your life. You've changed your plans. And um, there, there were some things that you were keeping to yourself that you had made known to these people. And so they are moving on. They are moving on. Mm. For some of you, this is a three-way relationship where you're already involved with somebody, but what happens is you found your perfect match. And so mm, you, for a little while, will keep the secret and you will eventually be moving on and cutting ties with the person that is not your true match so that you can go ahead and embrace this relationship. And I feel like during this time of January 2017, for those of you who this part of this message is resonating with, you are really in a soul-searching place. You're going inside. You're in your quiet space. You're the one who is uh, being the hermit right now. You're the one who is self-reflective so that you can receive the divine messages. Let me see more about this Knight of Cups at this time. Knight of Cups. 
I want the Knight of Cups first. Okay. So yeah, this um, offer is coming in, but uh, there's a little bit, I feel like you're the one that's m making this offer come in. So you, you're definitely very strategic about it. And I want to see what you're, what is it you're looking on letting go of? Let's see what you're looking on letting go of for who this message resonates for. I feel like you're looking at letting go of some of your pride. That there's been some issues with pride that you're ready to let go of. You realize it. And although you don't want to necessarily say it, you're going to let go of some of that pride. And you're going to let yourself move forward into a better place and to a better situation with this person who seems to be your perfect match. Mm, okay, Love Source God says, uh, some of you are literally like finding uh, your inner balance through this relationship with this other person. But these Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles are, oh, okay, are um, Earth sign people. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, so the okay I just had was that you are focused on um, this relationship that you saw. To you, that's what love means. And it's your parents. You, Your parents had a beautiful relationship. It was a long-term relationship. Uh, your father has passed now, but your parents um, had a beautiful relationship. And so that's the type of relationship you're wanting to bring in. So what you're doing is making sure that before I get involved, I'm going to make sure that this is a win-win thing, that this is the type of love that I know. This is the type of love that I want to know more about. This is the type of person that I want to do more about. And so you've been focusing your thoughts and um, creating in from your thoughts this physical relationship from your intuition. You're you're allowing your mind to do the work for you. You're allowing your emotions to do the work for you to bring in what you want. And some of you are really like serious about this in the sense of you're writing about it. You're talking about it. You're thinking about it. You're really writing about it. You're writing about it. You're writing about it. And in your writings, you're really getting clear about exactly what you want because you've had heartbreak before. You've had heartbreak before. Before you had heartbreak you were married to somebody, oh, and somebody else, this is a, again about your mother, your father has passed, and that was very hard for you, that was very, very hard for you, your heartbreak of your father passed, but understand that your father is blessing and reading, and he's offering you healing, so that you can get, um, you can get your mind in a place of victory, of moving forward, and Love Source God says, you should scroll through my videos, click on my name, and then on my channel, it's going to give you the option to scroll through my videos. And um, when you get to there, look for a video called Transmuting Tragedy to Blessing. That video will have some helpful information to help you receive the healing. Receive the healing and bless the situation. Also, you have everything that you need within you to meet this challenge of moving forward and you will let go of a couple of thoughts I feel like for some of you there's some sort of guilt behind this passing that you are holding on to and there was absolutely nothing you can do so it's time for you to let go of those feelings of guilt I feel like there were literally two incidences where there was guilt involved where you uh you thought that something was your fault and, and there was something you could have done and if only I had, then this would have. But in reality, it's time for you to let go of those thoughts because those are a burden that you don't really need to or want to carry and they're not serving you. And so although some things are lost, you have so much still available and the love is still there. Mm, even though Father has passed, He's still available in spirit, but your back is too spirit at this time or has been and it's time for you to focus on the spirit because mm, focus on your spirituality because you're getting help through the situation to move into a, a better feeling place and to have a new beginning and so I feel very strongly that this is what your soul is guiding you towards it's, it's encouraging you to embrace 
this change that you've been through. And yes, I understand that it is difficult. And you have what you need to make what you want in your life. And so, no, you can't necessarily physically bring your father back for your mother. But your mother is actually okay. Your mother, I feel, is still more open spiritually and therefore she doesn't, although physically she feels the loss, she emotionally knows and senses and she knows that he's still there with her, blessing her and embracing her and assisting her and actually she understands that all that means is there's more love energy, more somebody who knows her in the energy field that is in blessing everything that she does and, and promoting her causes and her desires and her wishes and her needs to be fulfilled from the spiritual side. This is a very intense reading. Change is here. It's time for your soul to grow. It's time to reap the seeds that you sow. So no more living in fear, regret, or doubt. Those are the things that now you really must leave out. Everything is as it should be. And although you can't see right now clearly, it's perfect, and soon you will find its synchronicity. So embrace the love and even your fear so that you can move through it and to your destiny draw ever more near. I would love to read for you personally. Consider the value of the information that you would like to receive. Say your prayers, say your meditations, and the amount that you arrive at will be the price of your reading. I only do spiritual work by donation, but according to your donation, I will reciprocate in energy a reading to you. If your donation is $60 or more, we can even do a live telephone call. Or if you're in Las Vegas, we can meet at my studio. If your donation is less than $60, I will do your reading and send you a personal link to your reading that only you and I will know is specifically for you. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I'm so, so grateful, so, so blessed to have you in my life and to be able to do this for you. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And, of course, me and mine. Until next time.